All right, today's the day. And if you remember in the last episode, we did some trimming on the tub, at least in those areas where the laminations are thick enough that those flanges are ready to go. And one of those things we trimmed was this air duct here and on the other side. Today, we're going to go ahead and work on fabricating that to where it's really supposed to be. And of course, before it was just a shallow draft so that it would come out of the molds, but now we need to make it so that it travels all the way back to the air cleaner. And on that side, back to the intercooler, and there's a fuel filler on that side as well, but we're gonna work on this one in this episode. So let's go see how we're gonna accomplish that. Now, when this came out of the mold, this part kinda had a little bit of a turn up, and even after I'd trimmed it out, that little kick up, needed to be ground down so that we have a uh, continuous smooth surface across this little tab that we've left here. So I got this little uh, miniature belt sander out, made a quick time of uh, grinding that down. But even that little belt sander can't get quite into the tight little corners and so back to my favorite little uh, tool, this little oscillating cutter me right down into that little corner just making sure everything is smooth. I also need to uh, make sure any surface that is going to later receive resin is also sanded down so that we have a good bond. And of course the only way to make sure you have a good bond is a uh, mechanical is sanding. Now back here also there was some uh, clay used to create this little uh, turned down in that little piece so got some acetone strip that clay off of course that clay is by far the absolute worst thing to have there in contact for anything that's going to be bonded to it oil based clay just basically creates a releasing agent so strip it off I could with acetone and then go back down and sand it really really well with some heavy grit paper like I said go over this whole thing and uh, put some good scuff marks in it so that we can get a bond when we go to our laminations Now this is also going to get bonded to the back side of this later on so quickly just go over and uh, do some scuffing on the back side as well just to make sure we don't have to worry about that once we turn this thing over to do the bonding back there. Now I'm going to make a, a piece that's going to create this extension out of a piece of uh, polyisocyanate sheet foam core basically that's rather expensive so going to start off by making a paper template so that I get this the shape and size exactly the way I want it before I uh, cut the foam core. So the metal of trial and fit. Had to add a little piece of paper on to extend it back. Need a little bit diff distance going back into the engine compartment. And there it looks like it fits. So now we're going to transfer that to our foam core sheet. Now this foam core sheet is pretty expensive, but I have to say that the machine that it must take to cut one eighth of an inch thick, perfect sheet like this is probably well worth the cost of what they can get out of the sheet once it's cut out of that machine. So once I got my foam core cut out, it's a matter of a uh, trial fitting it now to see how it's going to go in there. And once it's in place, it needs to be held in place by some little prop rods, little struts in the back. So in the back is uh, the air duct off the bottom of the car that kind of protrudes out in that area. So I'm going to just put these little wooden uh, pegs. They're going to stand on that and hold that foam in place. There you get a kind of a view of how it's going to go. So once that's trial fit, struts are all cut to length it's time to uh, put some laminations onto that foam core. And I'm going to build this up with uh, four layers of this eight ounce cloth and trimming them just oversized because once this thing goes into place, it's actually going to have that extra or that overlap fabric is going to be laminated to the back side of the tub. And in the back 
of that foam sheet that extends into the air cleaner area. Just leave it at, at length as well because that's going to be trimmed later on. So I've got my four sheets ready to go. Now back on the other video when I did the that expanding polyurethane foam, I told you you had to put that uh, that micro balloon filled resin on top of it to create a smooth surface. That's because the cells on that expanding foam are really rather large, whereas compared to this uh, commercially created foam and split to this eighth inch thick sheet, pretty small cell size. So a little resin fills them right up. I said, just go ahead and uh, saturate these layers. I'll be squeegeeing out and keeping the resin weight kind of lean on the top of the foam, but a little, uh, a little more saturation in that overlay, that overlap, I should say, that fiberglass that hangs out the edge. We want it pretty soggy so that when we put it into place, we have enough resin in there to uh, use our brush to press it onto the backside of the tub. And it looks like we're getting uh, pretty close to having all those four layers laminated out there. Now I can bring the thing over. Of course, there's no epoxy on the backside of the foam, so I can hang onto it there. Press it into place. Now it's a matter of uh, taking all those little wooden pegs, those struts, and start standing them back in the position they were cut for. And I realize now that I got the weight of this wet resin on here, that that back of that foam core with that fiberglass kind of sagging down. So Ran grabbed me a piece of uh, foam, got me another prop rod and jack it under there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a few layers of resin on top of that little tab that we've left in that ductwork. Putting in here a piece of Kevlar just as an added uh, precaution in case uh, somebody puts some weight in there. Of course, the rest of the laminations that came out of the mold, they're continuous pieces of fiberglass and well laminated, so somebody could climb on there, stand on there. But in here, we've got basically bonding an already cured laminate to a new fresh laminate. And so that Kevlar is going to give us a little extra strength in peel. So if somebody puts some weight on there, that will hold it from uh, separating. Added a couple pieces of fiberglasses on there, of course, as well. And once those are there, ready to go, we're going to fill the little gaps with some of this micro sphere filled epoxy. And uh, sorry, this is kind of a quick and jittery thing. The camera, for some reason, I think this white epoxy throws the camera off and it's trying to autofocus and jumping around. But anyway, fill those gaps for a later on process. That we will go back, sand that, and put a few more layers on the top before we flip it over and laminate the bottom side. Okay, so that gets us our continuously flowing air duct here. Of course, there are other things that are going to happen to this. First off, we're going to take this whole tub and put it back into the mold because it's still a little flex in the front A pillars and some other places that we want to reinforce those in the mold so that it keeps its shape. And that'll be part of this. Of course, we have that foam core on the back of this thing. So when it gets flipped over, we'll put about four more layers that come across the back side of the foam core, and that'll make this completely rigid. Of course, this will be trimmed and there'll be some cutouts going into the box for the air filters going into the turbochargers. Anyway, we will work on those things at another time, but thanks for stopping by today and come back and see us again.